Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. How are you today? Fine, teacher. Fine. Okay. Fine. That sounds, that sounds excellent. What did you do today? Uh, A lot of things. I <laughs> guess, teacher. And, it's and horrible. Yeah. Uh, today was a horrible day. Yes. Okay. Hello, Lisa. Because, Tell me. Because today was pay. Today was. ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Cómo se dice? Se pagó. Uh, ah, today, uh, payment date. The payment date. Yes. Okay. In my case, uh, I see all the the things in in the company. Are you an accountant? You are the accountant of the company. No, I am a lawyer. Are you are a lawyer? But yes, but um, I you work are... in relation labor relation. Ah, uh, okay. That's an interesting. Yes, why? It's very stressful. Really? Do you like your job? Yes, I love my job. Always or sometimes? Always, always. <laughs> okay. I enjoy it. Okay, that's nice. Yes. Hello, Lisa. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? Uh, my day was a little calm. Okay. Calmado, calmado, gracias a Dios. Okay, relax. Okay, you have a relaxed day. And what about tomorrow? Are you relax. going to stay at home? Esperando las vacaciones de mañana. Ah, okay, excellent. Um, Por dos. Tomorrow. <laughs> I celebrate my birthday. Yeah. Ah, tomorrow you are going to celebrate birthday. your birthday. Yes. Ah, okay, congratulations yes. and happy birthday to Thank you. Ay, cántemelo. Ah, okay, ya queremos pastel. <laughs> Anda, en en English, English, in English, teacher. <laughs> pastel no está pidiendo, teacher. Ah. <laughs> okay. And in your case, Carla, what are you going to do tomorrow? And Roxana, too, what are you going to do tomorrow? In my case, mm -hmm. I stay in my home because I feel rest all day. Ah, okay. You wait to rest the whole day. Excellent. Yes. yes. That sounds like a good plan. To stay at home, watching movies. Yes, I need you. <laughs> I need to have that time. I need, I need. Okay. Hello, good evening, Floridalia. Good evening, Roxana Abigail, Evelina Abigail. Good evening, and Veronica. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are good you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello. What are you going to do tomorrow? Tomorrow is a holiday. So you don't work. Are you go working? ¿Quién se va a trabajar? Yes, I work <laughs> in my house. Ah, okay. But I work. Okay, so you are going to do the house chores tomorrow. Le está, le está esperando la ropa para lavarse. A lot of dishes. You have to clean. <laughs> no, dice Lisa. <laughs> oh, no. You are going to take the, your work to home. Yes. All the weekend is the same. Uh, okay. I'm so sorry to hear that. So let's start with today's class. Uh, Today, we are going to have a review of the WH equation with it and with the 
verb be in past. That is what we're going to study today. So let's start with today's class. So I don't know what happened with your classmate. There is no Renberto, no Mateo. <coughs> se tomaron vacación desde hoy. Espero que se puedan conectar más adelante. De hoy vacaciones. <ríe> y no se les olvide que el jueves tenemos clase también, ¿verdad? El jueves y el lunes serían nuestras dos últimas clases. Solo vamos a descansar el día de mañana. ¿De acuerdo? Ok, teacher. Okay, so let's start with today's class. Let me know, please, if you can see my screen. Yes, I see. Yes, okay. okay one second, I'm going to take this out. Okay, here we go. WH question with did, was, and where. That is the topic for today. So we are going to have a review of this part and we are going to learn some expression that we use when we are talking about the past tense. So let's start. This is your class number 14. So welcome again. And let's start with this set of pictures. And look at her. She is tired. So what do you think she did? What did she do? to be in that way. She do the race or she do the exercise. Oh, probably she took a race or she did exercise. Okay. Any other idea? She slept in the park. She, she slept at the park. She dormió en el parque. Probably, probably. <laughs> okay. She she ate like four pizzas and now she's tired of eating. That tired. is another that is another option. So look at him. What did he do to stay in that way? He tired. This morning. <laughs> He didn't drink enough coffee, maybe. He worked too much. El trabajo mucho. And what about yeah. him? Look at him. He is tired now, but what did he do? Yeah. ¿Qué hizo él para estar así? He did study. He <laughs> Excellent. He studied a lot last night, probably. He read two big books. So let's continue with this. Those are some sentences, right? Probably she ran, she ran a race, she worked out, hizo ejercicio. Um, she is sick, probably. And he, he worked, he worked a lot. He didn't drink enough coffee. He worked on the computer and he studied. He studied in past right? in sentences in past tense. So here are some expressions we use in simple past. Those expressions are the ones we're going to learn today. Let's see, we use this expression when we are talking about the past. And the first one are this last week, last month, last weekend last Sunday. We are going to use the word last with this last week, last month, last weekend, last Sunday. You can say last Monday, last Tuesday, last Wednesday, uh, every day of the week. You can say with last, using last, last Sunday. In this case, so we can use yesterday I would say yesterday, ayer, pero ayer a qué horas? So we can add this, yesterday morning, yesterday evening, yesterday afternoon, and also we can use the expression the day before yesterday. In Spanish, ¿qué día sería este? The day before yesterday. 
Antier. Antier, yes. Thank you. And then we have this expression 10 minutes ago, an hour ago, three days ago, a week ago, a month ago, and a year ago. Esta sería la semana pasada, el mes pasado. Y en este caso, 10 minutos antes, ¿verdad? An hour ago, una hora atrás, o hace, hace una hora, hace tres días, three days ago, hace tres días, a week ago, una semana atrás, ¿verdad? O hace una semana. Also, we can use this expression in y un año, in 1980, in this case, in March, si es un mes, ¿verdad? in March, and on Monday too, we can use on with the day, with a day of the week, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Saturday, and so on. Teacher, so, teacher, yes. one question. In normally, Always the use in March when they refer referred for the month and that's in the same or the particular on when we refer the number for the days for the week. Oh, we use in this case in plus a month, but we cannot say in Monday. Uh, we are going to use on with a month when we are telling the, the date, the, una fecha exacta, a day. Okay. So you say when, on March. When, oh. when they use on the fed, cuando quiera decir una fecha exacta, voy a decir on March, on yes. March 12th, or on March 10th. Exactly, that is, that is the wait, on March mm -hmm. 10th, on March mm -hmm. 20th. 20th. So, you, cuando decimos el día, ¿verdad? El día del mes, tenemos que utilizar on. on. Cuando solo Pero usamos solo el, el mes, mes va in. A ser in. Yes. Y con los días de la semana, siempre va a ser on. 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 Mm -hmm. On Monday. On Monday. Y independientemente si digo on Monday 10 o on Monday 11, o sea, si le pongo el día, la, el día y la fecha. Siempre va a ser on. Ah, ok. Porque aquí tendríamos que decir on Monday, on Monday Five. 10, on Monday mm -hmm. 5, on mm -hmm. Monday 3rd. Pero generalmente se agrega el mes, ¿verdad? On, uh -huh. on, on Monday, Mer March, sorry. On Monday, mm -hmm. March 1st. Ok. Thank Any you. other question? Any other question in this part? This is the moment to ask questions. No more questions? Okay, let's continue then. So don't forget this expression. Expression with last, last week, last month, last weekend, last Sunday, uh, ago, 10 minutes ago, an hour ago, three days ago, a week ago, a month ago, and a year ago. Yesterday, yesterday morning, yesterday evening, yesterday afternoon, and the day before yesterday. And this other expression that we had here. So we are going to use this expression in the next question. So look at this. When was the last time you? Number one, when was the last time you visit a friend? Can you answer this question using the time expression we studied before? When was the last time you visit a friend? And then you say, I visit a friend uh, last okay. week. Tell me, tell me. I visit a friend yesterday. Okay, that is an excellent sentence. I visited a friend yesterday. Thanks a lot. Any other? I visit a friend last Sunday. I visited a friend two days ago. So let's see the next question. When was the last time you took a shower? When was the last time you took a shower? 
So you say, I took a shower uh, five hours ago. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, why use in the question, uh, was uh, in the verb in past tense? Um, this is because it, we have two clauses here. Tenemos dos clauses. One is when was the last time. Hasta acá. And then we have you. When was the last time you visited a friend? You visited a friend. So in this case, the verb isn't, uh, let's see, in passive boy visited. That's why. Por eso utilizamos el pasado. When was the last time? Hasta aquí es una cláusula de la siguiente. Sería, you visited a friend. Pero como esta es una pregunta, and this is a question, then escribimos la oración en pasado simple. When was the last time you visited a friend? That's okay, why. Teacher. Okay, thank you. So, when was the last time you took a shower? And you say, I took a shower. Look at the next one. When was the last time you cooked a cake? You cooked a cake or a pizza? When was the last time you I did? I never cooked a, a cake or pizza in my life. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So in this case, you can say, I can't. I can't cook a cake or a pizza. Or I never had cooked. I never had. Cook a cake or a pizza. Excellent. Let's see the next one. When was the last time you drank coffee? I drank a coffee uh, a 10 minutes ago. Okay, excellent. I drank a cup of coffee 10 minutes ago. I drink the coffee right now. <laughs> no, I think in this, in that case is I am drinking a coffee. I am drinking. A coffee. Okay, excellent. Let's see the next question. A spaghetti. When was the last time you ate a spaghetti? I, I ate don't like. Two I, days ago. Okay, excellent. I ate spaghetti two days ago, and someone more say, I don't like spaghetti. Let's see the next one. When was the last time you cleaned your bedroom? I cleaned my bedroom two days ago. Okay, excellent sentence. I cleaned my bedroom two hours ago. Thanks. Let's see the next one. When was the last time you laughed really hard that made you cry? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que se rió tanto que hasta lloró? Do you remember that? So you see. I love really hard the maids I cry and in the afternoon. Okay, today in the afternoon. Yes. Okay, excellent answer things. Help, help somebody. When was the last time you helped somebody? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que le ayudó a alguien? Do you remember that? When was the last time you helped somebody? Yesterday. Okay, I helped somebody yesterday. I helped somebody yesterday. Excellent. The next, have a tooth age. When was the last time you had a toothache? Really? You have I never had, had a toothache? I had a toothache the last, the last month. Last month. Okay, excellent. So when was the last time you said, I love you? I was say I love you 10 minutes ago. 
<laughs> ah, okay. I said I love you 10 minutes ago. Excellent. Uh, when was the last time you cut your hair? Cut your hair. I cut my hair uh, on yesterday. Okay, I cut my hair yesterday. Thanks. Cut my hair in two. ¿Cómo era semana? Last week. Last, last week. No. Last, last week. week. Last week ago. Uh, you have to say last week and then say no. Last so, week. Oh, okay. okay. I cut my hair last week. Or you can say I cut my hair uh, one week ago. Okay. Went to dance. When was the last time you went to dance? I went to dance. I went to dance. Yesterday. Okay, excellent. I went to dance yesterday. I went to dance one week ago. I went to dance um, one year ago. I went to dance 15 years ago. So those are good example of the answer. So look at this conversation. So the last class we study a similar conversation and they continue talking in this part. And it says, Melissa, so Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1999, I went to college here. Oh, what was your mayor? Drama, I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, mm, what do you think about her look? Does she look cute? It's awful. <laughs> oh, she's awful. It's very awful. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now look for some example here. Uh, where did you grow up? What about this question? Do you remember this question? Where did you grow up? ¿Dónde tú creciste? Yes. I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. Crecí en Texas y yo nací ahí también. And when did you come to Los Angeles? Y acá tenemos un ejemplo, ¿verdad? De las expresiones de tiempo que vimos en... In... In 1999. Ah, uh, no. No, it's 1990. 1990. 1990. 1990 is 1999. But good try. Excellent. 1990. I went to college there. Oh, what was your mayor? What is a mayor? Do you have any idea what Carrera. is a mayor? Carrera. Okay. A mayor. Así es. ¿Cuál era tu carrera? Drama. Do you like drama? Do you like drama? Yes. Yes. Okay, now I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Why? Por qué, right? Okay. Why? Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money and I love because it. Because you need the money. Okay, so what do you think? Now look at this question. The first one, where did you grow up? Is a yes no question or an information question? <coughs> information question. Information, yes. Is it a verb B question or another verb question? <coughs> D 
this is not a to be equation, right? This is not a to be equation. And when did you come to Los Angeles? It's another information question. And what about this one? What was your mayor? This is a to be. Information. No. It's an information question, yes, but with to be. And look at the following chart here. Here we have this question. W question we did was in where. So when we are using another verb that is not the verb to be, we are going to use the auxiliary <laughs> did. And we are going to use was and where when we are using the verb to be in past tense. So look at this example. Where did you grow up? It's an information question with this verb. Grow up, that means crecer. I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? So when, cuando. So I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? This is a question for become. Because I needed the money. And when we are using the verb to be in past, we are going to use was or where. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. So look at this. This is a review, right? WH word. To make a WH question with did, we are going to use this formula. WH word plus did, plus a subject, plus a very impressive, <coughs> plus a compliment. And finally, we're going to use the question mark. Look at this example. Why did you eat my dinner? So WH word, why? Auxiliary did, subject, you, verb, in present, eat, complement my dinner and the question mark. So this is asking for a reason. Why did you eat my dinner? Because it looked delicious and I was hungry. ¿Por qué te comiste mi cena? Because it looked delicious and I was hungry. Then let's see the other example. With the verb to be in simple past, we're going to use this formula to make questions. W word plus was or word plus subject plus a complement and the question mark. Look at this example. What was your favorite subject at high school? W word was, in this case, your favorite subject. That is the complement at high school and the question mark. And the answer here, my favorite subject was French. So we have two types of question. Preguntas con verbos diferentes, ¿verdad? Pueden ser verbos regulares o irregulares. Y preguntas con el verbo to be. En el caso del verbo to be, vamos a utilizar was o were. Y en el caso de los otros verbos, we are going to use did to make question. I have here an exercise for you. So I'm going to need your help to answer this. Uh, let's see, a uh, volunteer, please, to answer the first three questions. Who wants to participate today? Me, teacher. Oh, who say me? Can you please tell me? Yo, Veronica. Okay, Veronica. Internet, look at this topic, this internet. So look at the first question. Did you send any emails an hour ago? Yes, I sent one email. One, um, I, I sent one email one hour ago. Thank you. Look at the next one. Did you chat online yesterday? Did you chat online yesterday? No, I didn't chat. No, I didn't chat. <laughs> Did you watch any videos on the internet yesterday? Yes, I watched videos yesterday for internet. Okay, thank you. So can you please choose some of your classmates? Um, 
vamos a ver. Floridalia. Ok, thank you very Bye. much, Veronica. You did a great job. And this kind of question are yes, no question. So you have to say, yes, I did. No, I didn't. O puede utilizar la respuesta larga como hizo Verónica, ¿verdad? So, oh, Floridalia, here is your, the topic is school. Look at the question. Ah, okay. Did, Did you have a test yesterday? Oh, perdón. You have to answer the question. Did you have a test yesterday? ¿Cómo? Did you have a test yesterday? What's the eh, answer? Eh, no, I didn't. Okay, excellent. No, I didn't. Did you get bad grades last week? Did you mm -hmm. get bad grades last week? ¿Sacó malas calificaciones la semana pasada? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay. She's a good student. What was yes. your favorite? <laughs> What was your favorite school subject two years ago? Oh, my favorite subject um, two years ago, eh, ¿cómo se dice? Era, eh, well, no. Sí. Yes. Sí, ¿verdad? <laughs> It's okay. the pen. Eh, si va a decir solo eh. una, entonces es was. Si va a decir dos o más, entonces es where. Son dos. <laughs> Son ah, dos. entonces, where? My favorite eh, school, eh, where? My favorite class. My, ¿Cómo sería, perdón? My favorite school subject, where? Ok, my favorite school subject, where? Where is uh, a microbiology and anatomy. Ok, excelente, thank you. Escoja uno de sus compañeros. Choose one of your classmates, please. Choose one. Okay, um, Choose one of your classmates. Janet Mejía. Ok, hello Janet, good evening. So here is your topic. So Verónica's topic is what internet. And then the other topic, what's school? And your topic is vacation. Look at this question. Where did you go on your last vacation? How did you go there? And what did you do? What did you see? Can you please try to answer this question, Janet? Janet, hello, good evening. Hello. Uh, can you please help me trying to answer these questions? In my last vacation uh, in the beach. I went to the beach, yes. How did you go there? You say by bus, by cart. I went by cart. Or I I went to I went to my car. Ah, okay, excellent. I went to my car and what did you do there? I went I went to swimming. I I, I went swimming. I went swimming. I went eat fish. Okay, and I ate. I ate fish. Excellent. Only. Okay, only that. Okay, I went swimming and I ate fish. And what did you see? So in this case, you say, I saw your V. Uh, I saw. I saw fishes and I saw a lot of. People. Okay, I saw fish and I saw a lot of people. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Excellent job. Very good answer. So choose another classmate, please. Choose one of your classmates.
In all of these are examples of information question. Preguntas de información. Where, how, what? Verónica Godoy. Verónica again. Okay. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so vacation. The next topic is reading. Yeah. First, first question: Did you read a book last month? No, I didn't read a book last month, but I read a, a book last year. Okay, things. And what was it about? Do you remember that? Yes, it is uh, about the. Uh, Reflections. Okay, it was about. Okay, it was it about. Was about some, reflection. Okay, did you like it? Yes, I like. I like. Why? Because is the um, is for my inter interior. ¿Cómo se dice? Uh, my cell. It was to... it's about oh. no, hacer crece, como de crecimiento, como se dice personal. Oh, my personal growing for my personal, personal growing, growing. growing. Mm -hmm. okay. Growing. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And do you remember the name of the book? Yes, I actually um, no, I don't remember that. <laughs> okay. But, but that was an interesting book. Thanks. Yeah. Escoja uno de sus compañeros. Choose one of your classmates. Okay. Thank you, Veronica. Uh, you did a great job in this part. Thank you. Okay. I for Melida Sarai. Okay, Melida Sarai, can you help me with the next? The next topic is third day. Oh. Where did you celebrate your last third day? So information mm. question again, where? It's asking for a place. So where did you celebrate your last birthday? I went celebrate, I see. Mm -hmm. I went celebrate. Yes, I went to celebrate my birthday at? My birthday at home with my family. Okay, excellent. Now let's see how many friends did you invite? That is asking for a number of people. How many friends did you invite? And you say, I invited. I invited my best friend and my best friend anymore. Okay, so I invited one, one friend, just my best friend. What present did you get? What present did you get? I went, I went. So you say, I got in past. You have to say it in past, I got. I got two uh, pijamas. Okay, excellent, thanks. And what did you eat and drink? Do you remember that? What did you eat and drink? I drank, um, I drank soda. And, okay. And eat, eat cake. Okay, perfect. I ate cake and I drank soda. Thank you. Excellent job. And choose one of your classmates for the next topic. We have Xiomara, Melida Sanaí, Carlos, por ahí está Roxana. So you choose one of your classmates. Carlos. Okay, Carlos, can you help me with the next topic, please? Okay. Okay, shopping. That is the topic for you. Did you go shopping last week? Yes, I did. I, did. I shop. 
What did you buy? That is the next question. What did you buy? I shop the I the cama. Ah, I bought the ropa de cama, pero no sé cómo se dice. No, you say blanket, blanket and sheet. I bought I bought blanket and sheet. Okay. Did you go shopping alone? That is the next question. No, I didn't. I went to shopping with my family. Uh, how much did you spend? Uh, I spent uh, uh, $50. Okay, thank you. Uh, choose one of your classmates, please. Excellent job, very good answer. Thanks a lot. Roxana. Okay, Roxana, thank you. So in this topic we had, did you go shopping last week? That is a yes, no question. And the, what did you buy? Information question. Did you go shopping alone? Again, yes, no question. And how much did you spend? That is an example of information questions and Roxana can you help me with the next next topic housework question number one did you clean your room last Friday Roxana hello Where is hurt? So who wants to help me in this part, please? Who wants to help me with this housework? Me, teacher. Thank you, Evelyn. So did you clean your room last Friday? In this case, they are... Okay, tell me your answer, please. Sorry. Yes, I clean... I clean. My room last Friday. Thanks a lot. The next question Did you water any plants yesterday? And you say, Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Uh, no, I didn't. What? Were there any plants yesterday? Things. No, I didn't water any plants yesterday. So the question is, regó alguna planta ayer? You say, no, I didn't water any plant. No, <laughs> no I didn't. And did you iron yesterday? Did you iron your cloth yesterday? Um... What does it mean the item? Planchar. That is the meaning. Uh, no, I didn't. No, you didn't. Uh, okay. Yesterday. Thanks a lot. So let's see the next one is about sport. A volunteer, please, to answer this question. All of them are yes, no questions. So yes, I did. No, I didn't. Who wants to participate in this part, please? Nobody wants to answer this question. The first one is, did you go jogging in the morning? Did you go skiing last winter? Did you swim last summer? And did you train yesterday? A volunteer, please. If not, I'm going to pick someone. So let's see, Carla, can you help me please in this part? Question number one, did you go jogging in the morning? No, I didn't. Did you go skiing last winter? Uh, no, I didn't. Did you swim last summer? Yes, I did. Did you train yesterday at the no, gym? I <laughs> no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, then let's see. The next one is about food. We are almost to finish this part. Uh, did you drink three cups of coffee yesterday? 
Who say, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, so the next one is, what did you eat two hours ago? What did you I eat? Ate, I ate pizza. Okay, excellent answer. I ate, I ate pizza. Did your mom cook yesterday? No, no, she didn't. No, she didn't. Excellent answer. Did you eat any fish last week? No, I didn't because I don't like. Okay. I didn't like. Okay. No, in this case, yes, I don't like because okay. it's present. I don't like. It's okay. present. I don't like. No, le gusta. And the last one is about TV. Did you watch TV yesterday? Who say yes, I did or no, I didn't. Yes, I did. Thank you. What did you watch? I watched my favorite series. Uh, sitcom. We say sitcom. Sitcom? What does that mean for sitcom? Series. Las que uh, se ven por capítulos. Sitcom. Uh, okay. Sitcom. sitcom uh, yes. And what was it about? It's about the ay, no me recuerdo cómo se Attorney, ¿cómo se dice abogados? Lawyer. Attorney, lawyer, o, um, pero en la serie dicen Attorney o algo así como. como attorney. Attorney, ajá. Es lo uh, mismo. Yes, that is another way to say lawyer. Lawyer or attorney. Oh, okay. It's yeah. about the book fed for lawyer. Okay, and did you watch it alone? Yes, I watched it alone. Oh, okay. Yes, thanks a lot. Thank you. So today we're going to learn this vocabulary too. Let me know if you know this vocabulary in this part. So we have classroom, college, elementary school, gym, high school, history, junior high, lunch room, math, physical education, or playground. So, so tell me, do you know this work? What about college? What is college? Colegio. What is the mean for the physical education? It's como educación física? No, verdad? Yes, that is. Ah, okay. What's the meaning of elementary? Elementary is la la secundaria. Secundaria, then la escuela básica. No? La escuela básica, elementary school. Okay, y play. Eh, and actually, college, it doesn't mean colegio. It means university. It means universidad. <clears throat> and... Uh, what was your question, Carla? Sorry, can you please repeat? What is the uh, word? What is the meaning of playground? Playground is patio de juegos. Okay. And the junior high? Oh, junior high in high school. Junior high son los que están in, let's say, tercer ciclo. Right? In Entonces, the Ah, en la preparatoria, pero se divide en high school and junior high. So, it depends on the age, right? That is what I was reading. It's going to depend on the age, right? Okay, yes. The school for students from 7th grade to 9th grade. That is junior high. In high school is... Um, Primer año, segundo y tercer año de bachillerato. That is high school in junior high. Séptimo, octavo y noveno. That is what I read about this. Any other word? So we are going to classify then. Which one are classes? Which of them are classes? Which of them are school? Places and which one are our sorry, school grades and places. 
Let's start with classes. Which of them are classes at the school? Science. Science is one. Mathematics. Okay, math or mathematics? History. History too. Science. Science, yes. So we have this history, math, physical education, and science. They are classes. Which one do you think is the most difficult school subject of these four? Math. Math? Yes, because never mind. Yes. <laughs> okay, math. Probably <laughs> math is the most difficult. For some people, physical education too. Uh, let's go to the school. So we have in this part this college, elementary school, high school, and junior high. And finally, places. Which are some places that we can find in a school? Playground. Playground. Lunch room. Lunch room. Lunch room, yes. And gym. And gym. And of course, classroom. So we have classroom, gym, lunch room, and playground. So then after this vocabulary, I have this question for you. Look at this, number one. Where did you go to high school? Where did you go to high school? Where did you go to high school? I get to high school in Santana. Okay, I went. I went to high school. I went. I went. Okay. Any other answer? Where did you go to high school? I went to high school at. I went to a school at college Baptist college okay Baptist school or Baptist high school, high school. High school. Uh, yeah. college es la universidad sí pero como aquí se dice colegio bautista por eso <laughs> que okay. el, 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 sí por eso tenemos a confundirnos en esa palabra but college exactly. always means university so let's go with the next. What were your favorite subject at high school? What were your favorite subject at high school? So you can list them. My favorite subject was language. Um, okay. It's lenguaje in Spanish. Yes. Okay. In English, we say literature. Literature. Okay, literature. Literature. Can you please say again? Literature. Literature. <laughs> okay, literature. <laughs> Literatura. <laughs> uh, any other? Any other answer? What were your favorite subjects at the school? Tell My this. favorite subject. Uh, my favorite subject was math. Okay, excellent. My favorite subject was math. Nice. I love the math. <laughs> almost, almost nobody likes math at high school. Yes, I know that, but <laughs> maybe only me, I like so much the math. Yes, because for me, math was <laughs> so hard. Math was so hard. <laughs> At high school and difficult, yeah. and difficult, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Math is kind of difficult. So, what about physical education? Nobody like physical education. Yes, I like. Yes. Yeah. And what about information technology yes, class like. or computer but science? I prefer. In my case, I prefer uh, English. Okay. That's excellent. So let's go with the next. Thank you. So English was a good subject at high school. Where did you play with your friends? 
I mean, in the school, where did you play with your friends? How the meaning of, ¿cómo se dice cancha? De basketball. Ah, basketball court. I played with my friends uh, at the basketball, basketball court. Court. ¿Cómo se deletrea court? C O U R T. Ah, okay. Oh. Any other place? Where did you play with your friends? What about the soccer field? What about the playground? What about the classroom saltar, tour? Saltar la cuerda. Where did you play with your friends? Uh, saltar la cuerda is jump, jump rope. Jump mm -hmm. rope. Pero es que está hablando acerca de lugares, ¿verdad? Porque es where, ¿dónde? Ok, yes, in this case, where, but where. where. Teacher. Es yes. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se dice eh, pista de patinaje? Sí, de patinaje. Skate ring. Skate ring. ¿Había pista de patinaje en su escuela? That's so Íbamos great. a otro lugar. Wow. Íbamos a otro lugar donde se había. Ah, ok, ok. You can say skate rink. Skate okay, rink. Right. Yes. Ay, qué genial esa escuela que está patinaba. Uh -huh. No, so, la escuela no tenía, pero íbamos a otro que era convenio con la escuela. Ah, ok, excelente. So, when did you study high school? What was the year? When did you study high school? I was studying high school in 1990. In 1990, okay. Any other answer? Thank you, Veronica. When did you study high school? And you say, ah, se tanto. I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. So I was studying high school in 2005, something like that, 2005, in 2006. In 2005, I graduated by, to, at the university. Oh, really? <laughs> then I was yes. studying high school in my case. And the last one, I guess it's the last one. How was your high school? How was your high school? How do you describe your experience at high school? And you say it was great, it was awful, it was terrible, it was awesome, it was the best time of my life. So how was your high school? Tell me. It was great. <clears throat> it was great. Excellent, excellent yes. answer. Any other answer? In my guess, the high school, it was Super exciting and more funny. Okay, it was funny. My high school was funny. It was a funny yeah. time. Okay. One uh, probably that is one of your best time right, in life. And the last question: How old were you in 2005? Ah, ya ven que la mate sí sirve. Vamos a hacer la cuenta. How old were you in 2005? I was or 30 years. Okay. How do you say? I was 30 years old. I was 30, uh, 30 years old. I was. 20 years old. Okay, perfect. Perfect answer. I was 20 I years was old. 20. I was 20 years old too. Okay, okay, yo soy la más, la más viejita de todo este grupo. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Verónica. Creo que este igual o le sigo. <laughs> ah, no se preocupen. El tiempo es relativo, ¿verdad? Mientras ni, me vayan a, ni me vayan a preguntar a mí. 
El tiempo es relativo. Mientras seamos jóvenes en el alma, seguiremos siendo jóvenes. Por ah, ejemplo. So, let's see, no more equation today. So, here are some examples of information question with other verbs. Right? In this case, we use go. And this is with the verb be. This is with plate. And so on. So, we must be careful with the type of question, right? Tenemos que ser cuidadosos con el tipo de pregunta. If it is an information question, a yes, no question, a verb be in past question or with the other verbs. So, do you have any question? ¿Tienen alguna no, pregunta? Teacher. No, teacher. No questions. Okay. So, what about the platform? Los que hacían falta, ya terminamos la sección 4, sección 5. ¿Ya? Yeah. O estamos esperando el asueto de mañana para terminar <laughs> esta plataforma. Ah, no, mañana es asueto, teacher. No nos vamos a acordar de eso. Ok. Um, well, enjoy the holiday. Disfruten el día libre de mañana. Los que lo van a tener y los que no, pues, hay que seguir trabajando, right? Um, Anyways, right? ni modo, ¿no? Se toca, toca. Eh, no se les olvide, por favor, seguir trabajando en la plataforma, en los que todavía les hace falta. Recuerde que tenemos que terminar eso antes de lunes, antes de la clase de lunes. Los ejercicios en la plataforma y las evaluaciones tienen que estar completas al 100%. Si ya terminó la plataforma, pero hay algún tema que usted sienta que no le quedó claro, puede perfectamente hacer los ejercicios de nuevo. Y desde ya, para el repaso del día lunes, pueden escribir el tema que quieren que tengamos un repaso el próximo lunes, que sería nuestra última clase en el grupo de WhatsApp. Pueden escribir, ¿verdad? ¿Qué tema creen ustedes que debemos volver a estudiar? De todas las secciones, from section one to section five. Bye. Si no hay más preguntas, it has been a pleasure to be with you tonight. Thank you very much for your participation, for your attention, and for your punctuality. See you on Thursday. No se les olvide, por favor, que tenemos clases el día jueves. ¿no? Solo mañana es el día libre. Bueno. Ok. Ok. Then, have a good night. And see you on Thursday. Bye bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Okay. See you Thursday, teacher. Bye. Bye bye.